Well, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. Glad to spend a few minutes with you today. Songs have been running through my mind. One of the old songs that I've heard sung all my life and all the years of going to church. I remember this song, Blessing the Hearts of Many People, as it was sung together in worship. And I'm so glad for the old songs. I hope I never get away from the old songs. Just thinking about, you know, some of the tough times that I've been through in my life. It's the old gospel songs and hymns that have ministered to me best during those times. I've gone through some tough times. A few years ago, after 32 years of pastoring, we felt like that we were just pretty well burned out emotionally, physically, spiritually, uh, and intellectually. I mean, I just felt every time I got in the pulpit, I told these people everything I know, what shall I do now? And uh, I was just at a place where I was just emotionally and spiritually drained, and I thought it was time to take a break from pastoring. My intention was to really retire from pastoring. And it was at that time, going through this difficult time with an unknown future, that uh, I was really concerned about me and the needs of my family. Uh, what were we going to do? We would lived in a church parsonage for 32 years and had no home of our own, no equity in any home. And after pastoring small churches really didn't have any, uh, any money put back for a home. And I didn't know but what we wouldn't be uh, calling a sleeping bag under the bridge or home. But you know, the song that kept going through my mind was God will take care of you. And it goes, be not dismayed, whate'er be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. And the refrain is, God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. And you know, I found out that that was true. That was a difficult time, but God met our need in a wonderful way. And, and uh, since then, while we've been just blessed beyond measure uh, through God's bountiful provision, and I'm just so thankful that we have a God that is known as the faithful God, and he's promised to take care of us. Now I look around today, and I don't particularly like today's world. I don't like the moral and the spiritual climate of our society today. And, and you know, I believe that America is fast becoming a nation that has drifted away from God. We have spiraled down so very quickly that... I, I just don't even know that we ought to pray, God bless America. God can bless some things and other things he cannot bless. And I just wonder with the way things are going, if America is blessable as it has been down across the years. But, uh, you know, I don't like the future as I see it, an unknown future. So many things that we just don't know what life will be like in the days and the years to come. But I don't worry about it for me. For I know as a child of God that God will take care of me. Times will never get too hard, but what I won't be enjoying food. I mean, you know, the psalmist said, I was young and now I am old. Yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. And I know that God will be faithful in doing the turbulent and the uncertainty of life. God will be faithful to take care of his own. God's going to watch out for me. But as I mentioned in our prayer group the other night, I worry about our young people. I've got children and grandchildren away from the Lord today. And while I don't worry about the future for me, I do worry for them. Because I believe if they do not know the Lord, they're not putting their faith and their trust in Him. If they do not know how to trust God for their every need, they could be in for a rough time. But if they're a child of God, and they're on speaking terms with God. If they know how to pray and how to trust God, I believe that God will indeed take care of them. So my prayer is that my loved ones will know the Lord, that they will come to be able to prove that there is a God, that regardless of the situation of life, He will take care of you. The last verse was, No matter what may be the test, God will take care of you. Lean weary one upon his breast, God will take care of you. God is obligated through the promise of his word to take care of you. 
Let's thank God for his wonderful care. Dear Heavenly Father, thou art the faithful God, and we know that regardless of every situation of life, regardless of what we are facing, regardless of what our needs may be, we have the promise that God will take care of us. We thank thee for the ministry of the old songs, and especially this song that lets us know that whate'er be tied, God will take care of us. Go with us, Lord, and prepare our hearts for the Lord's day tomorrow. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that with you. And don't forget, God will take care of you. Goodbye now.